Hi there, YouTube fans, and welcome back to another YouTube live series presented to you by CompTIA. My name is Justin, and I've been your host for the past three weeks as we have spoken to some amazing cybersecurity heroes. Now, just to give you a quick recap, in our first episode, we spoke with Juan Fernandez, and he shared his story on how he tipped off the FBI of a potential threat of copy machines exposing patient information. And then last week, we spoke with Kira Hayes uh, as she explained how she was able to infiltrate a gaming network through a Discord server where she then duplicated an account. And then within minutes, she was able to gain access to secured account information. So, I mean, these were some amazing stories being told. And if you missed them, I encourage you to go back and watch the full interviews. Uh, and tonight we have our third and final hero, Gabriella Ariza, who will share with you another incredible story with us. Um, but before I have Gabriella introduce herself, I want to remind everybody watching that we will be announcing the third and final winner of our Security Plus 601 bundle giveaway towards the end of tonight's broadcast. So stick around to see if you're that lucky winner. So now I think I'll have our special guest introduce herself to the audience. Hi, so my name is Gabriella Riza and I am a cybersecurity specialist. And I'm also on Instagram, fab underscore millennial. If you want to find out more information about cybersecurity, I'm always posting on there. Thank you uh, for that quick intro. And before I jump into it, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and the notification bell just to be notified whenever CompTIA drops a video. Also, our great CompTIA staff will be addressing questions in the comment section. So feel free to drop any questions there. So, all right, I'm just gonna get right to it. Um, Gabriella, how did you get into security? I actually started in web development. Um, that was my first passion. And I decided to go get my master's. Uh, I went to, for information systems. And actually during my master's was when I discovered cybersecurity thanks to a professor and his amazing class that just woke me up to how security plays in our everyday lives. And after that, I was like, I want to go ahead and pursue cybersecurity. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what, what do you think has been the most rewarding Thing about working in security? I think being able to just make an impact on everyday lives. Um, just being able to work and help others through the passion that I love, which is IT, mm -hmm. um, is so rewarding. And I just find it really interesting as well. Cool. Pretty cool. Now, I heard you just started a new job recently. So congratulations on the new position. Um, and I would like to know what your day to day is like as an IT professional in security. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you used to do in your previous position? Like what are your what's your day to day or what was your day to day? Yeah, so my day to day was mostly communicating with government, military and police. Um, being able to go to different parts of the U.S. and being able to do certain scans and um, penetration testing and just seeing where were any holes in the systems and how we were supposed to mitigate the risks. So a lot of that was um, analysis and communicating with the customers and then also writing up reports um, and doing presentations as well. <laughs> well, we all love those presentations. <laughs> so um, you, 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 you have your bachelor's, you have your master's. Um, I will ask, do you have any, comp or not necessarily CompTIA certifications, those would be great. Do you have any certifications? And if so, what did you learn or gain from getting those? So I have a couple certifications. I have ITIL, and then I also have the CompTIA Security Plus certification. Um, I think ITIL is really important because a lot of times larger organizations and even government organizations are going to have that structure where you need to follow certain policies and certain procedures to be able to perform and have a great cybersecurity um, like structure. And then the security was actually really beneficial for me because even though I was already in the field when I had early certification, it still gave me like the overall broad um, information because not all my day-to-day -day work um, covers like all of the security plus concepts. So it was great to just have 
just a well-rounded um, certification for that. Do you plan on getting any others? Um, I do want to get the CISSP. That is a goal of mine. Um, but right now I'm celebrating my Security Plus wins. <laughs> Congratulations with that. So now um, I want you to tell me about a time when you proactively identified a cyber threat or prevented a cyber attack. So this was actually during um, my master's program. I wasn't fully into cybersecurity yet. Uh, I was still part of web development and I was actually an intern for a city. And um, this was pretty much to prevent a school shooting. And so what happened was I got a call. I wasn't working that day. I was actually in the city um, doing classes and it was one of the um, police chiefs who was like, we need you to come in right away. Um, it's crucial. We, you know, he didn't really give me that much information. So I had no idea what I was expecting. So I was like, yeah, I will head over there and I'll check it out. So I got there and there were a lot of police officers and they were all concerned. And he was explaining to me that an anonymous tip came in um, through our website and that we were limited on time. So this was around like 5 p.m. Um, and so the anonymous tip had some kind of information that there was going to be a school shooting the next day. Wow. And so some information was there, but not enough for them to be able to do much. So he was like, is there any way we can go ahead and figure out who sent this tip? Um, because we really need to contact them. Right. So because I was still new in security, um, I felt a lot of pressure. I was like, you know what, I'm going to try my best. Um, and so I decided to take the IP address from the anonymous tip. That was the only type of data that I had from there. Mm -hmm. um, and so I did kind of like a cross check and I was able to pull up a physical address that was linked with the IP address. Now I wasn't a hundred percent sure if it was going to be the actual address because it, it was like in a different city. So I was like really confused. And so I told, um, the police officers, I'm like, listen, this is all I could find. I think I spent like two hours or so trying to get this done. And um, they're like, you know what? We'll try our best. We'll go over there and see what happens. So I went home. I didn't hear anything. Um, the next day, it turned out that the address was correct. Um, and it was sent from a concerned parent. So the kid went, to, um, he just overheard some other kids talking about that there was going to be a school shooting the next day. Um, so when the police officers went to that person's house, they were able to determine who was the kid and they were able to go to that kid's house and be able to do a search. And, you know, they found evidence and, and all that, and they were able to stop um, this from happening. And um, I, I'm still shocked to this day about this That's that. That's because great. I feel like I didn't know that I was going to make this much of an impact, right. um, especially like so early on in my career. Mm -hmm. Wow. That, that's pretty amazing. Um, what do you think you learned from that, that whole experience? I mean, it's a lot. That's a lot you just said. What, what did you learn anything from that? Yeah. So I have to say that I think it just like continued to open my eyes that I really wanted to go into cybersecurity um, because it actually does affect so many components of our lives and it saves lives, to be honest with you. I mean, even at my previous job, a lot of the systems that I would have to look at are 911 systems. And if those go down, people can't call 911. So this just like, I just learned so much that me as an IT professional can help others and can um, prevent harm in the community 
without having to be like a public safety officer or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. True heroes, you know, a lot of people think of heroes as, like you said, um, a police officer or a firefighter, but a security professional like yourself can also be a hero in the background. So that's really Yeah, cool. and I think the other thing is you realize how much you work with other people as well. Um, yeah. You're really like a team. So, you know, I was able to support my police officers and the community that I work with. And I think that was a really great experience because you're helping them and they also help you as well. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's truly amazing. Um, my last question, um, what advice would you give for someone who is considering a career in cybersecurity? So I think it's really important to be able to be open-minded. Mm -hmm. um, the thing about cybersecurity is there's so many topics that you can go into and it's really important to have like that broad sense, but then find your track. So be able to learn on your own. Um, a lot of this is going to be self-taught. Um, there's a lot of great resources out there, um, you know, YouTube and watching um, different videos as well as reading up on blogs and discovering new people who are already in the field. So I think it's really important to be able to just take all that in. Um, that's going to make you go far in cybersecurity because this is an ever changing field. So yeah. you'll really want to get used to that early on um, because that's going to be the entire career. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, again, we this is another amazing story by an impressive IT professional. So Gabrielle, thank you for sharing with us. Um, and now for the moment we've been waiting for, um, we're going to have our wonderful guest, Gabriella, announce our last winner of our bundle giveaway. So Gabby, go ahead and announce the winner of tonight's bundle winner. Bundle giveaway. So the bundle winner is gonna be Vito Perry. Congratulations on that IT bundle. Yes, congratulations, Vito. Um, definitely, uh, use it wisely. You know, you had a lot of great advice from our, our special guest here. So definitely take advantage of that. So before I end tonight's broadcast, I would like to let you all know that uh, CompTIA's largest sale of the year is starting next week. It's our Cyber Week sale. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret to gain uh, a little bit of early access. So um, if you live inside the U.S., uh, you just need to sign up for the CompTIA Rewards Program. Um, and if you're not familiar with that program, you basically get rewarded for sharing the CompTIA love. So for every friend that you refer to the CompTIA store, you'll earn a $25 gift card. And reward members also get advance notice on discounts and promotions, just like this one, our Cyber Week sale. So just check out the link in the description to sign up. Um, and we haven't forgot about those who live outside the US. So uh, we also have a special link in the description to receive early access as well. Also, again, if you haven't yet joined us on Discord, we invite you to continue the conversation over there. Uh, we have study groups for CompTIA certifications, as well as career advice and general tech discussions. Well, I think that's it. Um, I mean, we had a great, it was quick, but we had a great impactful discussion with Gabriella tonight. Um, I really like to thank you all for tuning in tonight and a special thanks to Gabriella um, for basically sharing your stories and your advice with us. And a special shout out to all of those of you who've been with us over the last three weeks and we have spoken to truly some amazing cybersecurity heroes. And remember, our biggest sale of the year starts next week. So check your inbox and follow us on social media uh, to find out if you can how to save on everything CompTIA. So again, thank you everyone. Thank you, Gabriella, for sharing with us tonight. We've had a wonderful evening. We've had a wonderful last three weeks talking to three amazing people. So thank you all again.